a nationwide grounding of all flights. America's air travel was paralyzed this winter. Tens of thousands of passengers were left confused and frustrated. Why? Because of a government computer failure. There were problems with the notice to air mission system. Okay, computers sometimes fail, but last year, one in five American flights was delayed, often because our flight control technology is lousy. Why is a country so often on the cutting edge of innovation, stuck in the dark ages when it comes to air travel? Because our air traffic control is run by the federal government. Is the system out of date? Well, the system is continuously being upgraded and improved, but I think that is one of the key questions that, uh, uh, that we have to look at. But the government's been looking at it for decades. The FAA first promised modernization in the 80s. Then they promised a computer upgrade called NextGen. NextGen will enhance safety, shave minutes off flight times. But NextGen hasn't happened either. The FAA won't say when it might be done. American air traffic control is a lot like it was in the 1960s. Where is your plane? The information was put on flight progress strips that indicate the route, altitude, and other important flight data. In America, these strips of paper still keep track of flights. Computer printouts of individual flights that air traffic controllers can then manually move around. Printouts, they move manually. We are making every effort to modernize and look at our procedures. Why does it take them so long? This is your government at work. Diana Firthcott Roth worked for the Transportation Department during the last administration. Air traffic control was in your department. You could have fixed it. You should have fixed it. I had control over a small portion of DOT budget. A billion dollars of it, but. I was not allowed to take that money, give it to my friend over at the FAA and say, Dan, Here's five million towards your new computer system. And no one else was allowed to do it either. Government managers have little flexibility. They must fund specific projects pushed by politicians. Projects that benefit rural, suburban, tribal, and urban communities. It sounds like they mean well. It sounds a lot better to talk about social justice, nuts and bolts, like computer hardware for the air traffic control gets left behind. Computer hardware isn't left behind in Canada. We have been shaping air navigation with groundbreaking solutions. Decades ago, Canada turned air traffic control over to a private company. They got rid of the paper flight strips we still use. You won't find them in the tower in Vancouver. They're all electronic. See how this one changed color? Right. This is just a better way to track flights. It's not just Canada that does it. Dozens of countries have now privatized or partially privatized, and they innovate. No longer do traffic controllers squint through binoculars. Many aren't even at the airport. Since 2018, the International Airport at Saarbrücken has been remotely controlled from the remote tower center in Leipzig. Those things that look like windows, they're digital monitors. I miss my binoculars, but I enjoy that the zoom cameras have different zoom settings I can use, which the binoculars didn't have. I can see the aircraft also during nighttime and a lot clearer than before on the rear tower. A government study found that in countries that privatized, safety stayed the same or improved, costs were lower, and there were fewer delays. What this new tower enables us to do is manage our airspace more efficiently and safer. So why doesn't America do that? Because our government's dominated by crotchety old politicians who don't like privatization and don't seem to understand technology. They talk about those paper strips. They use paper strips in the traffic control towers. Well, yeah, we do. It works real well. Such politicians partner with labor unions. We are the AFL-CIO. And unions do what unions do. They advocate for keeping the same people in the same jobs. Because some jobs would go away under this better system. Some jobs would go away, but other, others might open up. All these people fight change. And so in America, government still runs flight control. And the old computers keep failing. A nationwide ground stop. This is due to a computer issue. The private sector would guide flights better, but this frightens people. What about safety? This is a system that isn't broke. Why are we trying to fix it? For-profit companies, they'll cut corners and planes will crash. For-profit companies actually run the airlines. What insurers 
uh, a high quality is competition. We could have one fast food chain, Uncle Sam's Burgers, and it would be probably mediocre hamburgers. But we have McDonald's, we have Wendy's, we have them all competing for your business, and that makes them all better. Yeah, that's hamburgers. They aren't flying through the air with me inside. This is more important. Yeah, well, would you rather fly Aeroflot or United Air? Good point. The Soviet Union's airline not only offered lousy service, they crash more often than private airlines, killing thousands of people. Today's innovation, if we would allow it, will make our flights even safer. There is a camera housing which encapsulates 14 high-definition cameras. Other countries have it. Why can't we? Because governments don't do anything well. Everybody in this line, they're sick of this. They're sick. I'm sick of it too. Government inefficiency just degrades our lives. However, we're efficient here at Stossel TV. We'll use your money well if you click that button to help us make more videos.